You um, heard Taylor talk earlier about how Chinese companies or companies that have factories in China are starting to feel the effects of the trade war. HTC sold off a part of its smartphone business to Google last year, and your focus right now is really on the Vive or Vive, I should say, VR headset. Give us a sense, Eve, of how exposed HTC is to the Chinese supply chain right now. I mean, first of all, um, as you mentioned, we are, we are a Taiwanese company, 100%. Uh, our people are sitting in Taiwan. All our research and development are, are in Taiwan. We have our own manufacturing plan in Taiwan, so which means that we are, we are pretty independent from, from uh, the, the, the Chinese mainland supply chain. For sure, you know, a lot of components are, are made, made in China, as, as you know. Uh, but we do have also uh, a Qualcomm chipset. We are using Intel chipset. So I think from, from a pure value chain, uh, we, can, we can really be considered as, as a pure you know, Taiwanese player. Is that resolutely a positive thing, Eva? Fascinating that you've come from Orange, of course, of France, the juggernaut there in telecoms, moving over to what is a Taiwanese business. But we look at the unrest in Hong Kong, and, well, there is concern about some of these other parts of, that aren't part of mainland China, but the impact that China will eventually have. Do you think it's a strong place to be in Taiwan at the moment? I mean, I just arrived in Taiwan. Thank you. I mean, I've been very, very warmly welcomed by, by everybody. So um, I do not feel, you know, anything, anything wrong in Taiwan. I'm, uh, again, very, very pleased. So to me, everything is OK. And the company is uh, recovering, is doing well. I think we just start the new Cosmos uh, headset. I think it has been released to, uh, to journalists, analysts, bloggers uh, a few hours ago, I may say, and uh, critics are very, very positive. So I think we are, we are more than happy and we'll continue uh, to, to move forward uh, towards our strategy, which is, again, you know, 5G and, and XR uh, reality. HTC has had a pretty rough stretch, Eve. Uh, seven years of falling revenue, a stock price. Caroline looked this up. That's lost 97% of its value. Key businesses being sold off, a difficult pivot from handsets to VR. Does being a public company still work in your favor? Yeah, I mean, this is true that uh, the, the revenue has been dropping, the, the, the share value has been dropping. Uh, we have been investing a lot in new technology as usual, but uh, remember when we started uh, many years ago, we were a pioneer in, uh, in the smartphone business and it has, it has been tough. And then uh, we have been uh, also pioneer in, in, you know, with, with the first Android phone and uh, we are now the first to market with the VR. Clearly, uh, uh, the VR market is not going at the, at the speed we were expecting, but we continue to invest towards this direction. Uh, 5G is just coming also um, you know, alive, and, and we are pretty, pretty good with the 5G. We are uh, delivering our 5G up to uh, more than 10 carriers all across uh, the world. And, uh, and the, the business starts start to, 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 to grow up. So yes, it's, it's, it's true. when, uh, when a company is investing in its future, investing a lot of in R&D, that we, we may have you know, up and down. We are in a down. Uh, but obviously, I can tell you that uh, we, are, we are climbing up the, the, the next mountain. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, you, will, you will see, and you can already see with the new Cosmos and new 5G hub, yeah. that our products are really, really competitive and uh, that we are, we are now really back on the race with, yeah. with a new start. We have but 20 seconds, Eve, but Vive Cosmos, you just said, it's being taken up well. How do you beat Oculus? I mean, I'm not so sure that the target is to, is to beat Oculus. I think the market is, is very large. We are competing with, with Oculus. Oculus has his you know, own, own segment, which is a purely a gamer and, 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 and social network. Yeah. Uh, I think the market is very, very large when you look at the B2B. Business, for instance, it is uh, also a lot of opportunity, yeah. and uh, you know I think everything everything is moving forward, and the market is uh, again very very large.